In this video, you'll see how to set up a pivot table that shows your top products, how they rank, and what percent of your overall sales comes from the top few products. This is Deborah Dalglish from Contextures.com. On this sheet, we have a named Excel table with two years worth of sales data. We're going to look at the product sales and the total price for each product, and then compare which products are doing the best. So first we'll build a simple pivot table. I'll click somewhere in this table. On the Insert tab, I'll go to Tables, Pivot Table. I want a table or range, and it's selected this data that I want to use. I'll use an existing worksheet. Click in here and go to my worksheet and click OK. It puts in an empty pivot table, and the pivot table field list is at the right. And to get a better view of the fields, I'm going to drag this onto the worksheet and choose a different layout so I can see the full list of fields and where they're going. I want to look at the products and compare their sales, so I'll check that, and they go into the pivot table rows area. And I want the total price, and when I check that, it goes into the values. When I added the products to the pivot table, they went in alphabetically. I'm interested in sorting them by price, so I'm going to click somewhere in the price column, and I've got a button on my quick access toolbar that will let me sort them largest to smallest. If you don't have that, go to the data tab and click largest to smallest there. Now we can see that carrot has the highest sales and banana has the lowest. For a quick way to see which position each product is in, we can add another field that will show their rank. I'm going to select any cell in the pivot table and in the pivot table field list, I'm going to drag another copy of total price into the values area. I'll put it right below the existing field there. It comes in as sum of total price 2. We want this to show a rank instead, so this should be 1, 2, 3, and so on. And to change what it's showing here, I'm going to right click on any number in this column show values as rank largest to smallest. We're basing this on the product field. Click OK. And now we can see 1 through 9 for the products. Next, I want to be able to see what percentage of the sales are coming from the top 3 or 4 or 6. So I'm going to add another copy of the total price field. Click any cell in the pivot table, drag total price in, and there's our third copy. And this time I want to see a percentage of sales as it goes along. So I'm going to right click, show values as percent running total in, and this is for product. Click OK. And now we can see that the first one is 22% of the total sales. By the time we get down to the third one, we're already up to 60% of our total sales. And to put this away, I'll double click on the heading and it goes back and docks at the side. Now I've got the pivot table set up with all the fields that I want, but it doesn't look very nice. I'm going to change the headings and format some of the numbers. To change the heading, I'll click on a heading cell and this one I'll call sales tab to the next one. This is rank and this one is percent running. To make them a bit narrower, I'll select those three columns, move them in. I want the sales to be whole numbers with comma separators. So I'll select any cell in that column, right click, value field settings, and in here click number format, go to number, I want zero decimal places and a separator. Click OK and OK. And for the run, I don't want to see the decimal places at all. I'm going to right click, value field setting, number format, percentage with zero decimal places and OK. 
Okay, so now we have a much nicer looking pivot table, easier to read. And I can look down to the third product and see that those three have a combined total of 60% of everything that was sold. And there's one more thing I'll do to this pivot table before I'm done. So with any cell selected, I'll go to Insert, Filters, put in a slicer, and you could pick any of the fields, but I'll pick Region and click OK. And now there are the two regions where we've got sales. So I can either look at the overall product sales and rank or select one of the regions. So we can see that the East also has 60% for those top three. And in the West, the top three have 70%. So you can use the same field multiple times in your pivot table values area and look at those numbers in different ways.